Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Welcome to another episode of Dear Blocko. This is the show where I answer your questions about your world and my world. For instance, why is Triangle Bob on fire right now? New Year, same Bob. Anyways, first question up, Carlin asks, Dear Blocko, can you truly disappear and get off the grid? Well, I hope you're not talking about me specifically. I bet Triangle Bob is thinking the same thing right now. The answer is sure. Some people even claim to have gone off the grid, at least to some extent. One option is to build a tiny home off the grid, without public power, water, natural gas, or telephone lines. By installing solar panels, digging wells, and using septic tanks, you can be almost entirely self-sufficient. Although in many places, zoning regulations and building codes can make this quite difficult if not illegal. To truly disappear and not be found, you'd have to give up your Wi-Fi and geolocation services and go live in the wilderness somewhere. Although if that's too extreme, you could simply use an alter ego to hide from the all-seeing eyes of the government and the free market. In the US and many other countries, however, it's a felony to use false identification. So some people have created companies as their second identity, hiding their old one in the process, something you can only do in some states like Nevada, Wyoming, and New Mexico. Under this fresh identity, you can have new bank accounts, phone numbers, mailboxes, home addresses, and credit cards. Although using cash and throwaway phones is probably still the best way to remain fully anonymous. I hope you've got some gold stashed somewhere too, cause staying off the grid sounds awfully expensive. Okay, the next question from Ella J asks, Dear Blocko, what happens when we hold in a sneeze? Well, it depends on how unlucky you are, and you'd have to be pretty unlucky for something bad to happen. Even still, doctors say the safest option is to let your sneeze go. Otherwise, you'll be holding in a projection of mucus up to 100 miles or 160 kilometers per hour. And newsflash, that pressurized air has to go somewhere. While issues almost never arise from suppressing a sneeze, there's still a very slim chance of serious damage. In 2018, a young man actually ruptured the back of his throat by closing off a sneeze, leaving him unable to speak or swallow until the injury healed. And it could have been much worse. Experts say suppressing a sneeze can lead to numerous other complications, like trapped air in the chest, a perforated eardrum or blood vessel, broken ribs, and maybe even a middle ear infection. Sure, any of those outcomes is exceedingly rare, but unless you're in a tight spot, like a deadly game of hide-and-seek with a pack of robotic hyenas, a tissue or elbow seems like a better option. Just let that sneeze go. And now it's time for questions about me and my world. Sundar asks, Dear Blocko, how are you and Sir Clea doing? Well, great actually. Sir Clea moved into the Blocko house, so that's exciting. We even started a rock band, Sir Clea and the Blockheads. Her voice, my electric tambourine, triangle bob on the whatever that instrument is. I also have something very special planned soon. I'm winking, but you can't tell because I have no face. Second question up, Big Ernie asks, Dear Blocko, are you ever gonna go on more adventures to any new places? Well, actually, come to think of it, we got wind of a place called New Jersey. We're going on a cool adventure soon to visit the knowledgeable one. I thought that was me, but legend has it, it's a giant brain located deep in a cave that contains some answers to life's biggest questions. I'll keep you updated. So do you have any questions about your world and my world? Let me know in the comment section below and make sure you use the hashtag DearBlocko so I can find it. I'll be looking for those cues. We've been getting a lot of comments recently asking about how these Life Noggin videos actually get made. Since so many of you want to learn how the animator works his magic, I decided to team up with our sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. I am personally recommending the Simple Character Animation class by Fraser Davidson. It'll teach you the basics of animating a walk cycle in After Effects, and that's how I move. Premium membership gives you unlimited access that starts at under $10 a month so you can fuel your curiosity and creativity. Because Skillshare is sponsoring this video, you can sign up with the link in the description and get a two-month free trial. If you love learning and creating and want to support LifeNoggin, go to skl.sh slash LifeNoggin5 and get started today. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been LifeNoggin. Bark, 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 bark.